Hi, first graders. I wanted to come on and do a math lesson with you today because a lot of the things that we're going to be doing for the rest of the school year are things that we haven't had a chance to do in class yet. So I wanted to make sure to show you how we do it. So in class, we've been working on adding numbers within 20. So now we're gonna take it even further and we're going to work on addition within 100. I know there are gonna be a lot of big numbers there, but I'm gonna help show you how to do it, okay? So this includes adding a two digit number with a multiple of 10. So that's just a fancy way of saying how we would do a problem like this. We have a two digit number and we have a multiple of 10. So our two digit number here is 37. And we're gonna start easy with our multiple of 10 just being 10. So today for our strategy to solve it, we're going to use base 10 blocks. So I'm sure you remember base 10 blocks from class, because that's these guys here. I know if you were in my class, we've used a lot of these this year. We have these rods, which you know represent 10. So you know if I had this many, I could say it's 10, 20, 30, 40. And we're going to use these little ones, which we know represent ones. I would have one, two, three, four. Can you see them here? So we're going to be using our base 10 blocks. We have our tens and we have our ones. This is a little hard to see. Instead of using these, because they don't want to stick on here for me, we're going to drop pictures to solve. Because I know at your house, you're probably not like Mr. Corian. You don't have these at home. So I'm going to show you how you can draw base 10 blocks to solve problems like this, adding two digit numbers and multiples of 10. So let's look at our two digit number here. Our two digit number here is 37. So to draw 37 and represent it with tens and ones, let's look at our tens place here. We have three tens. I'm going to draw three lines here to represent my 10 rods. So I'm going to do 10, 20, 30. We have 10, 20, 30. Let's look at our ones. We have seven ones. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here we have three tens and seven ones. So this represents 37. So now to add to 37, we have 10. So what I'm going to do is so easy. If I have the number 10, I only need one 10 rod. So I'm just going to do this. 10. That's all I have to do. So now I have my numbers represented here. So let's add up our tens and ones and see what our answer is. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So our answer uh-oh, Mr. Corning didn't leave enough space, is 47. So we have 37 plus 10 equals 47. And we know that means four tens and seven ones. So let's try another one. Let's see what happens when we use a multiple of 10 that is not 10. So I'm going to do, how about, Let's do hmm, 53 plus 43 plus 30. So let's see here. We have 53 plus 30 equals. So I'm going to solve it the same way that I did the last one. So let's look. Our two digit number over on this side is 53. I'm looking here and I know that I have five tens. So I'm going to draw five 10 rods. I'm going to do 
one, two, three, four, five, ten rods. But I know that really means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's look at our ones. I have three ones, so I'll draw one, two, three. So now let's look over here. Our multiple of 10 is 30. So I'm going to look at the number 30, and I know that I need three 10 rods. So I can do one, two, three which I know really represents 10, 20, 30. I'm gonna do it a little bit darker here so you can see it better. There we go. Ooh, my drawing today, let's see. So let's count and find out what our answer is to 53 plus 30. Remember, count by tens, and then we count by ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. So our answer is 83. So easy. You can do this at home just with your paper and pencil doing it. So let's try one more. So this time when I do it, I'm going to write it and then I want you to pause the video so that you can try to solve it on your own. So I'm going to do 46 plus 20 equals. So why don't you write that on your own paper right now? 46 plus 20 equals 46 plus 20 equals so this is the point pause it on your computer your tablet and try it on your own remember you can draw your base 10 rods by doing tens and your ones so pause it now and give it a try okay i hope you tried it on your own so now let's come together and see how you did our two digit number to start with is 46. Our multiple of tens is 20. So let's see here, if I have the number 46, I know I need to have four tens. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. My four 10 rods, which represents 10, 20, 30, 40. I'll make them nice and even. And then over here, I have six ones. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have my four tens and six ones to represent the number 46. So our multiple of tens here is 20. That means I need two tens to add on. So I'm going to do one ten, two tens to represent 20. So now let's count and add up how much we have all together to have 46 plus 20. We have, count with me, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. So our answer is 66. So 46 plus 20 equals 66, which means we have six tens and six ones. So these are so easy. Even though they're big numbers, we can solve them just like that. All you need is a paper and pencil at home to do it.
okay? So I hope this helps you to learn how to solve addition problems within 20, within 100, when we have numbers that are two digit numbers plus multiples of tens. So I hope you did a great job at home too, and we'll do some more very soon.